much of the past few years, the apartment sector in Jackson, Mississippi looked like one of the more stable secondary markets in the Gulf region, but in recent quarters, Jackson has lost some footing. Welcome to Apartment Market Dynamics from MPF Research. I'm Jay Parsons with your Jackson update. Apartment demand is sliding in Jackson, and with that, rent growth levels have cooled off. And when that happens, we tend to look first at job growth, and it's never been very strong here, and it continues to be right where it has been, slow and steady. So that's not really the big story going on. Uh, the other thing we look at is home sales, and those are coming back very strong, big growth in, in the number of homes being sold. Uh, now again, that's happening in many markets as well, but again, this is a market that's not being able to backfill those units very quickly that are moving into purchase because the e economy isn't showing big growth. So the effect is more pronounced here than many other places. And we'll look at that more in a minute and what that effect is, but for now, let's start with the overall numbers. Occupancy came in at 93.3%, down 40 basis points in the quarter. This marks three of four quarters with a quarter over quarter decline. Annually, occupancy was down 110 basis points, the sharpest drop since 09. Rent growth levels are sliding too. Annual rent growth reached as high as 5% earlier in the cycle, but they were up just 0.9% year over year as of Q1 2013. That was Jackson's weakest number in 12 quarters. Now let's go back to talking about occupancy, and this is where it gets really interesting. We break Jackson into three different submarkets and look at where the occupancy loss is occurring. It's occurring in the two suburban submarkets, the two spots that had been doing very well when few people were buying homes, but became vulnerable to the loss of renters to purchase when sales picked up. Occupancy down 280 basis points year over year in Ridgeland, Madison County, and down 180 basis points year over year in Pearl, Rank. In County. By comparison, occupancy was up a modest 20 basis points in Jackson Hines County, where affordability challenges tend to stem the loss of renters to purchase and also sharply limit apartment rent growth potential. Now let's look at occupancy shifts going back four years to see the bigger picture. Jackson Hines County is in purple, Ridgeland Madison County in red, and Pearl Rankin County in green. And what you see is that they were all in bad shape in 09, but the core was definitely hit the hardest. And you could see that uh, Jackson Hines County was in bad shape, but rebounded to around 93% and has been around there for the past two years. The suburbs, where incomes tend to be better, came back earlier and stronger, both topped 96% occupancy at various points, but they've both tailed off dramatically over the past year. And so now, as of Q1 2013, you can see all three submarkets are posting pretty similar rates, right between 93 and 94%. So again, to repeat, the loss of renters to home purchase is not a problem that's unusual to Jackson. It happens everywhere, but the problem tends to be less serious in places that have good enough job growth or that have good demographics, folks with uh, higher income jobs who are younger adults who tend to be renters looking at apartments over single family homes. Now, it's unlikely, of course, that home sales will continue at this pace, and so we should see these occupancy slides go away in the suburbs, but we're also unlikely to see economic growth ramp up more than moderately. So, over the next year, we're expecting to see the suburbs to recover some of that lost ground, but overall, we're likely to see, at best, a slow and steady revenue growth line going forward. And that wraps us up for Jackson. So until next time for Apart Mark Dynamics and MPF Research, I'm Jay Parsons. Thank you for watching. Want more? Go deeper with NPF Research's Apartment Market Reports. From a national level, down to individual metros, to specific neighborhoods, MPF Research has been providing unparalleled apartment market intelligence to the multifamily industry for almost five decades. Learn more by contacting us at 877-284-4938 or visit www.npfresearch.com and click on Market Reports.